Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about phylum Arthropoda. So, if we analyze the word Arthropoda, we can say that Arthro means joint and Pod means foot. So, their foot structure is like joint. And if we analyze their body structure, we can say that they got bilateral symmetry if we cut them. So, both portions and parts will be the same and they might have exoskeleton or uh, a very hard shell covered their outer part of their body so according to their segmentations they are resemble to annelids and also segments are arranged to three parts it means their body got three parts which is their head thorax and abdomen part about their skin and exoskeleton we can say that they got an outer cover made up of chitin which is a polysaccharide or it can be calcium carbonate as well uh, which is a hard covering protecting them uh, from different animals in different situations but uh, this exoskeleton might limit their growth as well as their exoskeleton is not growing but the animal inside exoskeleton is growing so sometimes uh, they can shed their exoskeleton and grow new exoskeleton which is being called as the process of molting and this is like this so they are coming out from their uh, old exoskeleton and they can grow new exoskeleton for themselves as well or they can come out from their exoskeleton like this their nerve system is also like annelids they got uh, one brain and two cords coming out from it or attached to it which is making their nerve system and also the other thing which is important about their nerve system is their antennas which is making them sensitive against touch and some chemicals and sometimes they can use it for excretion as well the respiration is happening in two ways as we said, arthropods can be in two kinds. Some of them can be aquatic and some of them can, can be terrestrial. If they are aquatic, so they are using gills for respiration. And gills are kind of structures which are making them able to respire inside water. They are absorbing oxygen f of the water. But if they are terrestrial, if they are not aquatic and if they are terrestrial, so they are using trachea tube which is a kind of tube which is located inside their body or the internal tubes we can say uh, which is providing air to their internal part of their body or to the cells of their body about their circulation we can say that they got seven chambered heart or their heart got seven parts and they got uh, open circulation it means their blood is coming out from their heart and vessels circulating to the body cavity and from body cavity coming back to, uh, to but coming back to the seven chambered heart and again the main process of circulation is happening so basically they got open circulatory system and about their excretion again they are excreting in two ways it can be uh, excretion of aquatic and excretion of terrestrial arthropods if they are aquatic so they are using antennal gl glands or green glands for excretion they are using antennas for excretion and if they are terrestrial so they are using malpighian tubes for excretion there are different types of arthropods like crustacea, arachnida, insecta, chilopod and diplopod that we are going to talk about each of them. Starting with the crustacea. These animals are crustaceous. They are marine, freshwater and sometimes they can live terrestrially uh, and their soft bodies are covered with a shell which is calcium carbonate shell which is making their exoskeleton they got antennas their antennas are making them sensitive against test smell touch and sometimes I mean most of the time I mean always excretion is happening with that antennas and also uh, they got 10 legs the first pair is adapted to be claws and it means with the help of that claws they can uh, grow up prey and use from it and eat it uh, they have gills for respiration, they are using green glands for execration and they are reproducing sexually means they got male and female and they are doing external fertilization. Second example, Arachnida, spiders and scorpions. They got walking legs 
and no antennas are uh, seen in the kind of animals and they got four pair of legs and they are terrestrial so they are using lungs and they are using malpighian tubes for excretion uh, and respiration next example insecta so they are the only invertebrates which can fly and they are divided i mean their body is divided in three parts like head thorax and abdomen and also they got compound eyes it means their eyes are uh, able to see each angle as they got lots of lenses inside their eyes and their mouth structure can be different according to their diet for example about um, mosquito we can say the male mosquito is only able to uh, eat the nectar flower nectar that's why their mouth structure is adapted to it and the female mosquito is able to uh, eat or use from blood hum i mean human blood or uh, different animals blood so that's why their mouth is adapted to sucking the blood and also they got three pairs of legs and some of them might have wings as well and they are using tracheal system for gas exchange as they are terrestrial and malpighian tubes for excretion chilopods or centipedes which is meaning 100 feet but obviously they got 60 legs and in which uh, um, segment they got one pair of leg their body is segmented as you can see they are hunters they are killing other insects with the poison that they got and they are using from that kind of insects and they are quick mover their feet structure is like runner running fit diplopods or milpets which is meaning thousand feet but obviously they got 26 up to 40 legs and in each segment they got two pair of leg it means four leg in each segment they got antennas and they are not hunters they are eating dead plant matters thanks for being with me till the end of the lesson that was all about arthropods